Good morning, beautiful people. Yes, I know you may think it's not, but actually this is really cool looking. I really love this. As I showed you yesterday, that's the volcano. See, this is my friend's hotel. The hotel is called Finca San Juan de la Isla. That's why I'm able to come here because otherwise I wouldn't be able to afford it. So that's the volcano over there, but today is filled with clouds. It was a little bit of a rainstorm as you saw, but otherwise it was very, very beautiful. Hello, beautiful people. I hope you can hear me. Well, Meghan Markle, not invited apparently by King Charles. He's invited his darling boy, Harry, but not Meghan Markle. I wonder why. I mean, she's lovely gal after all, <laughs> isn't she? That's what we heard, that she's lovely and kind and nice. And, you know, she, she said that service is universal. So why wouldn't Charles have her over there? Because we haven't heard anything about are they coming or are they not coming to Trooping the Color? The first of King Charles' reign. So it is going to be very, very interesting because apparently he did invite Harry, but not his darling daughter-in-law she would be, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, how far she has fallen, don't you guys agree? Because she used to be the darling for Charles. I mean, didn't get, they get along famously? Remember how they giggled all the way through? Maybe all the constant stories about trashing the queen, trashing Charles, trashing um, Catherine, being the one found out that she fed the stories to the paps. You know, maybe that has something to do with it. Who knows? I mean, why not? He can ensure having lots of pops. By the way, I've read a lot of people saying, oh, but she is going, they're going to launch Suits on Netflix. Suits has never stopped being on Netflix, at least not in Norway, not in Canada, not in Central America. We have it even here. So I don't understand what they say about that Netflix, Suits is going to be launched on Saturday on Netflix. I guess it was never shown in the United States and supposedly Meghan Markle was a Hollywood actress. Hmm. Please. So, yeah. So I don't understand what, what the big launch because even in the UK they were showing it. It's just news just to, oh, you know, <laughs> they're comparing Meghan Markle suits a D-list show to a historic event like Trooping the Color. Oh my good Lord. I mean, that's pretty pathetic, if you ask me. See? That's the volcano behind there. See? <laughs> so, I don't even know what to say because it is so embarrassing. A lot of you have told me that Harry's visa application uh, records were denied to the Heritage Foundation. I'm just coming up here, guys, because I'm going to sit here to do the video for you guys. Um, that the Heritage Foundation was denied access to Harry's visa records because they don't believe that there's enough interest. Of course there is interest. This is a man who has publicly, who is a public figure and who has publicly admitted doing drugs. He has. There's this ranch here, you know, can you see it? Well, isn't this beautiful guys, look. This is the hotel here. So, this is a man who has publicly admitted to doing drugs, and not just any drugs, heavy drugs. He's admitted to doing all of them. He's gone around the US, or at least in very high profile, um, very high profile public interviews admitting the drug use 
and it's not of public interest. To begin with, I, um, Harry is committing a federal crime. And this is why I've said that, you know, Heritage Foundation goes only so far. They should take it further because he has been doing drugs while in the United States, which is a federal crime. So if any of you are in contact with the, with the U.S. Heritage Foundation, and I know a lot of people are saying, well, why Harry? Why? Because he's very high profile. And at least Justin Bieber, he didn't admit it right away, nor did he go endorsing it. He admitted to drug use and he should be punished for it, even though I like the Biebs. After all, he's Canadian. But I have the hand like this because I have the mic here. So and there's a lot of wind, as you can see. So it is... It is something to ponder about. The great thing is that the Heritage Foundation are not going to take it down lightly. They're taking it to the judge. And the judge gave said that if the DHH denies that, that he was going to resolve the matter. So it's not a final word on, on, the, on this. And I do believe that the judge is going to grant it. And if granted, ooh, they will have issues there. They will have issues there. Let me show you something. This is where I'm where I'm sitting right now. I'm not going to show you my ugly mug because you know, you guys need to see something pretty. Isn't that tree beautiful over there? Can you see that tree? It's filled with red flowers. We also have them in yellow flowers. See? Let me take you for a tour. So it is going to be very very interesting, guys, to see what happens. Now, Megan not invited to the Trooping the Color when everybody was saying, oh, she's a fr breath of fresh air. She is amazing. I mean, she's going to modernize the, the royal family. The fact is, they say that about all the royal brides. They say that about all the royal brides. Of course, they said that about Princess Diana. They said that about... This is the main home here. This is the Hacienda. This is where we have our breakfast, which is included. No, I'm not paid for this, but it's, I just love coming here. See guys, isn't this, I, I mean, I, Nicaragua is so beautiful. You know, this country could, could be doing so well if only. So this is the, ¿Qué tal? Buenos días. Um, so yes, so she was the darling. And then came Sophie, no, Sarah. Sarah was gonna modernize. Um, the um, the royal family right remember guys instead she capitalized capitalized on it remember how she capitalized on that selling secrets selling stories about it how about we had sophie sophie was it's actually pretty good sophie is very very good sophie is i i love sophie i think sophie's great so but how about then came who came afterwards Catherine middleton she has modernized the royal family she has modernized the monarchy you know she hasn't been vulgar about it but she's done it you know oops there's somebody there she's done it she's modernized the royal family the monarchy she's brought it up to date the same thing for william so i don't understand why they kept going on and on about megan is it because she's mixed race? But then again, she hates being mixed race. I, I really do believe that this is the biggest flaw of the royal family. Thinking that Meghan Markle embraced her, her ethnicity when she didn't. She never embraced it. In fact, she hated it. So the fact that the UK celebrated it is a, and reminded Meghan Markle of the fact that she was not fully white, I think that was the cardinal sin of the United Kingdom and the monarchy. The fact that she was celebrated for who she was in her totality. Her delism, her you know, lack of talent, and the fact that she was biracial. So what do you think? Ooh, oh, my sh sh uh, I should have done that, but the bird just left. Let me show you this tree here. That was the problem. Oh, look at that bird. That was the problem that Meghan Markle had with the UK. That they embraced 
her fully with all her colors. Look at that. Okay. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me better. I'm sitting here, guys, so I'm at the balcony. Um, so yeah, it, it is unbelievable how badly things have turned out for Meghan Markle. The rise, the true rise, the true opportunities she had to actually be somebody. And the same opportunities to be somebody turned out to be her downfall. Because, you know, it was too good. She didn't know what to do with what she was given. Because when people with her kind of mind, you know, it's like a little rat trying to get as much as she can as quickly as she can because she thinks she's going to be kicked out of the party. And because she only thought of herself. She only thought of herself completely. It is actually quite disturbing. But no, Meghan Markle is the greatest thing since bread and butter, I guess. You know, since... Uh, cold water or whatever but it's 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 actually quite a sad thing to see happening what was it that king charles called her tungsten but it, uh, it it's something to watch because you know she she was so many possibilities and now she's not even invited to anything i don't think she was invited to the coronation i don't think this I, this is why we're not hearing in the press Will she or won't they attend? Instead, we're getting the relaunch of Suits. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we are so lucky. So anyways, beautiful people, what do you guys think? Do you think that she'll show up anyways? Do you think Harry will accept his father's invitation to come to the Trooping the Color? It is another historical event and we know that Charles likes to invite them. Please let me know what you think and once again, Thank you very much for watching the videos. Thanks for coming here. Thanks for sharing them. Thanks for the super chats and the PayPal donation, guys. And yes, thanks. Share it. Share it. You're always welcome here. And this is your channel. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will be doing a video later on. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.